Last year after Miles Brennan went down with an injury, TJ Finley and Max Johnson were the two guys who stepped up at quarterback. Eventually, Johnson was seen as the future of the program, and with Miles Brennan back from injury, TJ Finley had an upward battle for the 2021 starting job. A few weeks ago, he decided to enter the transfer portal, and he had heard from numerous big-time schools. Today, he finally chose the Auburn Tigers, and he will look to fight for the starting quarterback job. Today, we're going to talk about TJ Finley, what his commitment means for Auburn, and how he could be the future of the Tigers program. Now, let's get started. Before we talk about what his commitment means for Auburn, we need to go back and figure out who TJ Finley is. He's sort of a local legend in the state of Louisiana, as he was the top quarterback coming into the class of 2020 from the state. As a senior, he'd passed for 2,736 yards and 23 touchdowns with only 5 picks. He later decided to stay in state and commit to LSU over Alabama, Auburn, and Oregon. He arrived in the same class as four-star quarterback Max Johnson, and he was the third stringer going into the year behind Miles Brennan and Johnson. Finley would start five games for LSU though last year after Miles Brennan would go down with an injury. He completed 80 of his 140 passes for a total of 941 yards, five touchdowns, and five picks. In his first start, he threw for 265 yards and two scores in a win over South Carolina, and also had a career game with 371 yards and two scores against Arkansas, but he would struggle mightily against Alabama, I mean any quarterback would, and he was eventually benched in favor of Max Johnson, who would lead them to a win on the road against Florida. Going into 2021, he was apparently behind both Johnson and Brennan, and he was the third string guy on the list. He entered his name into the transfer portal, and said he wanted to play for a school that would play against LSU every year. He'd get his wish, as he is now going to Auburn. He said, quote, It felt like God led me to do this. It was the best situation for me as a quarterback. They have a new system going in, and they feel like I fit their system, and it's a lot of things that they're telling me that are very promising. Not saying they're promising me anything, but it's promising as far as the future. It's basically that I can come in and compete for the starting job, and if I were good enough to be the number one guy, I would be the number one guy. The other guy he will have to battle it out with is Bo Nix. He is the son of a former Auburn Tiger legend and has started the last two years after he was a borderline five-star recruit coming out of high school. Nix has been inconsistent at times, and some say he has been a bust compared to the hype he's brought in. Brian Harson also runs a different style offense than Gus Malzahn did, so Finley may have a chance. He showed last year that he does have a cannon for an arm, and maybe he will fit this system a little bit better than Nix will. I do believe that Bo will win the starting job initially, but who knows what will happen, and maybe Finley can push for it. Personally, I'm not a big fan of Auburn's quarterback room, as Demetrius Davis has a lot of work to do if he wants to become a SEC caliber quarterback, and Bo Nix has been a disappointment. Finley, on the other hand, was not a guy I expected to go to Auburn. When I saw he was talking to all these big time programs, I was pretty shocked. I mean, the dude was third string for LSU, so why would he start for another SEC program? It really just amazes me, and I really thought since Finley was a big time name in Louisiana, that he'd go to a school like Tulane, Louisiana, or Louisiana Monroe, where we have seen other former LSU quarterbacks go, and I feel like he could have a star role there. But I guess I'm completely wrong, as big time SEC programs see Finley as a guy who can lead their team, and maybe Finley will prove me wrong. He said, quote, each school has given me an opportunity to compete for the starting job. Based on how comfortable I feel with that, I made my decision based on who I felt gave me the best opportunity to be successful. The four schools that he was down to were Auburn, Alabama, Penn State, and Houston. I don't know if I fully believe this statement, as I don't think anyone in the world thought that Finley would have a chance to beat out Bryce Young. At Penn State, Sean Clifford is the bona fide starter, and while I do think he has been inconsistent and a little bit disappointing, he was clearly the guy going into 2021. Houston, on the other hand, has Clayton Toon, who started last year, and while Finley could win the starting job there, it seemed as if Holgerson had been favoring Toon. Many people also presume that Bo Nix is the starter at Auburn, and it may just be my personal opinion that he isn't as good as advertised, but for the most part, many believe that he'd be the starter at Auburn as well. Honestly, I'm a little bit shocked by what is going on here, and maybe it's just because I'm not that high on Finley, but I just don't believe he had the opportunity to start at Penn State or Alabama, and that's just nonsense in my opinion. But like all college football analysts and quote-unquote experts, we could easily be wrong, and the coaching staff could see something in Finley that we don't see. He also did have some brilliant moments at LSU last year, so if he can put it all together with the proper development, maybe he could be that star player that some think he could be. What do you guys think though? If you're an Auburn fan, let me know what you think of Finley's transfer and how it affects your guys' 2021 quarterback competition. On the other hand, if you're an LSU fan, let me know what you think of Finley and how he will do, and just overall, what are your guys' thoughts on him as a player and his future? 
Let me know down in the comment section and also be sure to let me know another player I could take a look at next, another topic I can do, and if you love consistent college football content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and to support my work, check out all my other videos on the end screen and hit that like button so it helps the video get in the algorithm and more people can see it. Hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.